Robinson starting today for his Achilles 21 days after Brad Kazan did. Here comes Atlanta. This is Tiago Almada. Now a lot of room for Caleb Wiley. This is Caleb Wiley who opens the scoring. Five minutes in. The 18-year-old putting Atlanta ahead on the road. Well, so far in 2023, you want to notice the biggest difference of Atlanta United in its... They didn't perform their best versus San Jose. They were happy with the result. As here's Araujo cutting inside and making it two. A fantastic start for Atlanta United in Charlotte. 2-0, 12 minutes in. Still work to do. Still time for Charlotte to try to get something back before halftime. Might be open now for Atlanta United. Almada skips around Bronico. Araujo. Back to Almada, leaves it for Wiley! Caleb Wiley, a brace in the first half. Atlanta United flying to a 3-0 lead before halftime. Back for Lechette, swinging it in. A couple of bounces, Javine Brown comes up with the defensive play. Blackman helping out, and now Dahomey's grabbed a little there by Surreal, but Dallas still with possession. Tafari swings it in, flipped on goal, and Dallas has struck first. Ibiaga hanging around in the area. And the visitors are up by a goal. Well, there were question marks about whether Sebastian Ibiaga would even start this game. Hanging up against the signage. Edge of the six. Brown is there. Goal! This is all about the flick on as well, as it's so well done there for Veselinovic. And then at the back post, Ryan Gall just sticks a foot out. And he's first to it, and it actually looks as if it's an own goal. And it's Ariola, who I think. I'm still giving the ball up, I'll tell you that much. Another one. More pressure from Cincinnati. Junior Moreno. Now it's Brunner! The breakthrough for the home side. Then the Brazilian on the score sheet for the first time in 2023 since he leads it 1-0. Angulo, lots of room for Maguire in the middle at the moment as the cross comes in from the right. It's over his head to Holson there and Maguire touches in and the ball has gone into the net. And what a moment this is for Duncan Maguire. It's not just Nani that does the big leap up to scoring a goal in Orlando Colors anymore. There's a new player to celebrate goals for the Lions. We, we chatted with Russell Canal saying, what was that moment when Kuti Pietro scored the goal? What was it like afterwards in the locker room? And say the, the perfect start to a season. Because the buzz that gives the team, the hugs that go on afterwards, the belief in the team, knowing that you could be feeling dead and buried, but you stick with it. Here they go with Durkin, and there's the equaliser. Finally, Galais is beaten. And DC are level. Can New York City FC find their opening here? Litany of blue to aim for. High hanging ball in, shut up for a piece of it, but it's McVeigh with an own goal. Not the most conventional of ways to start from a whole opening point of view for New York City FC, but they'll take it. An own goal gives them the lead in front of their home fans. Martinez looking for options. Torres likes the spot. Still has it on that left foot. It's a goal! Torres coming through at the death for Philadelphia.
Jonathan Osorio. Leads DeAndre Carr. Carr firing go! DeAndre Carr in his first game of 2023 finds the back of the net, and it's the Reds roaring in the Canadian cold early for a one. Last year. Madronda. Flag stays down. Opportunity here. This is Madronda over the head of Johnson. But now the offside flag goes up. Oh, Madronda. He could well. I, that's the key to it. I think he's now onside when you look as the ball leaves the foot. Here's the call. It's a goal. Columbus has tied the game. Madronda minutes into his Columbus career has leveled. Corner kick and in swinger. The header's a good one. What a save, but it's down. Minnesota United take the lead on opening night here at Allianz Field. States. John Tolkien with the in-swing. Great delivery. Oh, it's in the back of the net. The New York Red Bulls are level. And what a finish it is as well. Andres Reyes, the Colombian, climbing highest. A glancing header. Precision. And it's 1-1 in Minnesota. How crazy, too. Two set pieces, two corner kicks on the same end where both teams just taking advantage of the opportunity. Andres Reyes does really well to rise up. Reyes. Waterman in plenty of space in the middle. Nicely done there, down that left with Kyoto, but Davis well read it. Now Mukhtar can turn, and it's 3v2 in the attack. The Montreal players chasing back. He's got Schaffelberg with him. He'll play him in. Here's Jacob Schaffelberg! Two and three for Jacob Schaffelberg. The newest introduction into this Nashville attack. What a start for the Canadian. It's 1-0 to Nashville. Turn away from the danger. He's giving it to Mawil. Davis. Now Shaq Moore in a crossing position. Over the head of Mukhtar, but Washington arriving! And there is the long-awaited second for Nashville. A Nashville SC original, Taylor Washington. His first MLS goal has sealed the three points for Nashville SC. Allowing the fullbacks to get a little bit more, to get a little bit forward, and then creating some space centrally for this man here, Owen Wolf, and Danny Pereira to get the ball. Lovely ball out wide. Gallagher coming inside, long range, and in off the woodwork. Oh my! The fullback comes forward, and he could not have struck that any better. He salutes the travelling Austin FC fans, and they salute him back. Another opportunity for Brody. Full cross, the header back in, Glad, and that one's crept over the line. Well, you said he set himself a target of five goals. He's got another one here. And RSL and the fans have the response they wanted. They pull level. Lovely turn from Drewsy again. Wolf, he finds the pocket of space further forward. Driving centrally, looking for options, goes for goal! And that is what we've seen. One world-class strike already. How about that one from Owen Wolf? They just backed off him, invited him to shoot. He took the invite. That away team feel very far from home, and you start to get a little bit of that advantage. Williamson there to deliver. 
driver at Santiago Moreno close by, but instead hard of the area, and it's one nothing Portland! McGraw missed a moment ago, but he didn't miss this time. What a start. Time run there by Rasmus Alm. Back inside, looking for Klaus. He fanned on it. Stroud out in front! And we're level at one! Jared Stroud finds the back of the net for the second time in 2023, right before the stroke of halftime. Attacking with numbers on the Portland Timbers and a bad turnover where they don't bring that attack to a conclusion or at least do something definitive with it. Leuven gonna serve it again. Right into the back post, and a chance to make it 2-1, and they do! It seemed like it was going to be a chance for Portland to clear. Colorado just at .37, so all the numbers and the data telling us that San Jose has led in terms of attacking opportunities. However, the scoreline remains 0-0. They'll be disappointed if they can't find the back of the net here at home. As much as Colorado want to get on the score sheet for the season. If they can grind out a point away from home, you usually won't complain too much about that. Here come San Jose again. Yule. Montero. Trauco. Espinosa long range again. This time he tucks it under the post. What a finish from Espinosa. in his MLS career, including one against Lorenzo Insigne, which has been one of the highlights of his career. Chance here, 14th minute for LAFC to take the lead. Wonga, uh, that one's tucked away, no doubt about it. Saying, yeah, you may get Insigne, you're not getting mine. The goals keep flowing for LAFC, they keep flowing. And a pivot away. Again, I think Tillman's been really strong tonight. Very simple in his possession. Oh, Buanga's leverage it. The flag is down. Danny Buanga can't stop, won't stop scoring. Five goals in his last two games. Had every right to believe they could come here and compete, compete. They have, but just that that little bit of quality in the final third has gone lacking tonight. Minutes that are the opportunities that they need. Uh -oh. oh boy, Tillman slides in. Oh, Timothy Tillman. Living on the end of a lightning bolt. He has been exceptional tonight. Back off of Steve Fuentes. Luanga's tank. Never on empty. They want more. They're going to get more. Oh! It crossed the line. It did. An incredible attempt by Georgi Petrovic to deny it. And another first time LAFC goal score. It's Stipe Buke. He joins Tillman. A glorious assist from Luanga.